Hi, Veronica. How are you? Hi, Veronica. How are you? Hello, William. How are you? Hello, Ceci. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Oh, very good. Si me escuchan. Pensé que no me escuchaban. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Here, ready for action. You know how we do it. Nothing to it. How was your day? Ah, thank you. Very good. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Good job. Hello, Ada. How are you? Hello, William. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Jesse. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lydia. Hello, Carlos Somoza. Hello, Hello, Ana Rodriguez. How are you today? How is everybody today? Okay, good job. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What can you tell me about yesterday's class? What did we talk about? What did we discuss? Uh, what information do you remember? All right, ¿qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? ¿Quién me puede decir algo? Levante la mano. ¿Quién se acuerda? De lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Somebody que se acuerde. Nobody. Course. All right, so today we're going to go ahead and uh, let's look at, we we're looking at the, uh, one second, Les Participante Modulo 2. We are in Inglés Participante Modulo 1. This is number one. Eh, los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha bastante interferencia. Gracias. All right. So yesterday we were looking at the section. Uh, we were looking at the section three. And we finished uh, adjectives, knowledge check, 3.3. So we're going to look at the next activity, which is this activity right here, 3.3, uh, adjectives. So we watched this video already. All right. So aquí tenían que escribir abajo. Tenían que escribir eh, las oraciones describiendo a personas en su familia y conocidos. For example, my husband is tall, plays soccer. Ahí sería, ahí serían dos oraciones separadas. My husband is tall y my husband is tall, después punto final. My Husband, husband, H -U -S -B -A -N, husband is tall, punto final. Allí, he plays soccer, punto final. Is very charismatic. Ahí vamos a empezar otra oración. He is, he is very charismatic charismatic punto final okay so lo van a expresar así so in this moment i would like for you to work in pairs vamos a trabajar en pareja y vamos a describir a personas y familiares utilizando los adjetivos vamos a repasar este video rápidamente le voy a poner play
She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My coworker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So, lo que vamos a hacer en este momento, eh, vamos a trabajar en pareja. Esto va a ser una actividad eh, de fluidez. Eh, vamos a decir, por ejemplo, uh, What is your father like? Right. ¿Cómo es tu papá? Y tú vas a escribir, tú vas a decir, my father, Ruben, is very serious. All right, la pregunta sería, what is your father like? ¿Cómo es tu papá? Y tú vas a responder, my father, Ruben, is very serious. Mi papá, Ruben, es bien serio. All right, esa sería la número uno. What is your mother like? ¿Cómo es tu mamá? Y le vas a poner, my mother, Claudia, is a little short. Es un poco baja del deuda. Ok, ahí de allí vas a decir, what is your wife like? ¿Cómo es tu esposa? Y de ahí le vas a responder, digamos, ella es cariñosa. My wife, María, is very, muy, very, Affectionate. Muy cariñosa. Eh, de allí vas a decir, what is your son like? ¿Cómo es tu hijo? Le va a responder, my son, Mario, is very lovely. Ok. De allí, what is your D-A-U-G-H-T-E-R daughter like? ¿Cómo es tu hija? Y vas a responder, she is very my, ok. My daughter. Y de ahí le vas a poner el nombre. Eh, Sonia is very, digamos, very fun, muy divertida. Eh, let's say, what is your boss like? ¿Cómo es tu jefe? Eh, he is very in Vas a decir, my boss, my boss, Raúl, is very intelligent. All right. ¿Cuántos son ahí? Son diez. Let me see. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, what is your boss like? Six, he is very intelligent. Uh, what is your co-worker like? Como es tu compañero de trabajo? Uh, he, vamos a decir, my co-worker, uh, uh, my co-worker, digamos, uh, Jesse is very lazy. Lazy quiere decir perezoso. Eh, yo creo que Sonia le está entrando interferencia. La voy a poner en silencio. La voy a poner en silencio, Sonia, porque se escucha interferencia. Eh, the next one eh, sería What is your cousin like como es tu primo vas a decir my cousin Jessica is very hard working es muy trabajadora uh, what is your neighbor like como es tu vecino my neighbor Alejandro is very tall all right so that was a six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, ahora sí ya son diez. Okay, so vamos a practicar eh, utilizando estos ejemplos para describir personas en nuestra familia y conocidos del trabajo y conocidos del vecindario. All right. Please repeat after me. Wait a minute. Let me see. All right. Where were we? All right. The first one. Repeat, please. What is your father like? your father like what do father like my father ruben is very serious my father david is very serious what is your mother like what is your your mother like my mother claudia is a little short my mother Dora is a little short. All right, the next one says, uh, What is your wife like? Eso es para los hombres. Para las mujeres sería, What is your husband like? Porque wife es esposa, what is your husband, husband is esposa. Like? Uh, my wife Maria is very affectionate. Eh, si no tiene esposa, my, puede decir de su novio o su novia, el boyfriend o la girlfriend, si no está casado. Eh, mm -hmm. The next one, what is your son like? My, what is your son like? My son Mario is very lovely. Solo que si no tiene son. hijos ahí, uh, puede hablar sobre sus vecinos o sus sobrinos o sobrinas. All right. So I'm going to put everybody in pairs at this moment. And I would like for you to take a couple of minutes and practice in pairs. Practice in pairs. All right. Let's go. 
All right, I'm gonna have Ada, Evelyn, and Gladys work as a trio. Isaias, Sonia, and Jesse work as a trio. Eh, we're gonna have, bueno, voy a ver si los puedo poner en dos mejor. Give me one second, let me see if I could put pairs. All right, there we go. Eduardo and Isaias in pairs. Evelyn and Lydia in pairs. Carla Rojas and Mario Moran in pairs. Susana Torres and William Rosales in pairs. Marisol and Sonia Mendoza in pairs. Eh, Ada and Ceci in pairs. Gladys and Jesse in pairs. Ana and Veronica in pairs. Carlos and Mauricio in pairs. Ready, let's go. All right, eh, estoy viendo que Veronica no entró. La voy a, su pareja era Ana Rodríguez. La voy a poner con Gladys Merino en el 7. Y a Verónica la vamos a poner en el 2, en el 1. Hello, Veronica, no entró. Tiene que darle clic a entrar o join. No encuentran las preguntas. No, no puedo verlas. Este... Vaya, ahorita se las mando a todos. Gracias. Ya. Okay. ¿Le cayeron? Okay. Sí, yo sí las tengo. Okay. No, pero... ¿Why do you boss? Ah, uh, my boss... My boss... Eh, Evelyn is very intelligent. What is your forward line? Uh, my co-worker is, is very, 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 Uh, it's very unless. Co-worker, ¿qué, ¿qué dijo que era? Co-worker, son compañeros de trabajo. What is your coaching line? Coaching. Coaching, creo que es prima. 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 No, prima. prima. I, my cousin, eh, my cousin, my cousin, uh, Claudia is very handsome. What is your neighbor like? Ah, my neighbor, oh, 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 oh. my 
neighbors are very difficult. Hoy continuo yo. Ok, empiezo. Ok. Eh, Carla, ¿verdad? Sí. Así, ah, ok. Carla, what is your father like? My, my father, Antonio, is very good. Very? Very good. My, bo my boss, eh, Mauricio, is very... Um, It's very funny. It's very funny. What is your co-worker like? My co-worker, uh, Claudia, is very... Um, is very... It's very lazy. Um, what is your cousin like? My cousin Valeria is very, um, is very angry, angry. Okay. What did your neighbor like? My neighbor, eh, my neighbor Alejandro is very short. le pregunto yo. Hola. Ah, ya no. Oye. Oh, It's very crazy. <laughs> What is <laughs> Iniciamos nuevamente. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. All right, all right, let me have two volunteers, two volunteers, one, all right, Mauricio, volunteer, good job, Mauricio, uh, one more volunteer, one more volunteer, let me have another volunteer, Mauricio, number one, and I have Ada, number two, Ada, number two, so I would like for Mauricio ask the question, Ada, respond to the question. Mauricio, ask the question. Ada, respond to the question. Action. Hello, Ada. Hello, Ada. Hello, Ada. Hello, Mauricio. Hello. How are Hello. you? Fine. Okay. Thank What you. is your father like? Uh, my father no, no, like is very serious. Ah, okay. Oh. Ada, Ada. Eh, Hola. Una, observa Hola. una observación. Ah. Les, voy a ah, yeah. Les voy a compartir mi pantalla.
le voy a poner Word Excel. Espérame. ¿Cómo está? My father okay. likes very. Okay, uh, usted very. dijo my father like is. My father, ¿están viendo mi pantalla? Like yes. is, eh, ¿cómo me dijo? My father like is very oh, tall. Sí, very, very serious. Very, serious. very serious. Ok, uh, solo una observación con esta oración. ¿Quién me puede decir qué tiene de malo esta oración? Levante la mano. My father like is very serious. ¿Qué tiene de malo? ¿Quién me puede decir? Mauricio. Very. Sí, chaval. Ok, dígame, William. Sí, que, eh, al inicio estaría como diciendo en español que a mi padre le gusta. Ajá. Eh, entonces no podría ser como muy serio. Muy, very good. So la oración debería de ser my father. ¿Cómo se llama su papá, Ada? ¿Cómo se llama su papá, Ada? Luis. Ok, so, la oración debería de leer así. My father, Luis, is very serious. Así debe de leer la, la respuesta. Ok, eh, sí. Léale la pregunta nuevamente, Mauricio, por favor. What is your father like? Responda, Ada. My, my father, Luis, is very serious. 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 Very good. Ok, continúe, Mauricio. Ok. What is your mother like? My mother, Mirna, is a little short. Very good. Ok. Excelente. What did your husband like? My husband, Ivan, is very serious. Okay. Serious. All what right, you that's it, that's it, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, uh, now Ada asks the questions and Mauricio respond to the question. Continuamos. No. Oh, comienzo desde el inicio. Uh, sí, continúe usted. Ah. What is your wife like? Uh, no wife. Uh, girlfriend, what is your girlfriend like? Uh, girlfriend, yes. What? My girlfriend is very funny. Uh, what did your boss like? My boss, uh, Riola, is very angry. What did your coworker like? Uh, my coworker, Luis, is very lazy. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. No, no, no. That's it. That's good. That's good, everybody. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the next activity. So, for the next activity, what we're going to do is... ¿Todos escribieron las oraciones aquí en el aquí abajo? Oh, no. Okay, les voy a dar cinco minutos. Quiero que lo hagan así como lo hicimos con la pregunta y la respuesta. La pregunta y la respuesta, quiero que lo escriban aquí en el discussion forum, así exactamente como lo hemos practicado eh, verbalmente. Tienen cinco minutos. Ok, teacher. Empezando ya. ¿Qué lección es, teacher? Esta es la 3.13. 3.13, aquí se la estoy compartiendo en mi pantalla. Thank you. Yes, of course. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Ah? Uh? Yes. 
Ok, si ya lo hizo, puede, si ya lo hizo, pueden continuar trabajando en la plataforma. Si no lo ha hecho, voy a estar aquí pendiente por si tiene alguna consulta. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para trabajar en esta actividad.
All right, todos terminamos ya. ¿Cuánto tiempo más necesita? Cinco minutos más. Ok. All right, gracias Susan por avisar que ya terminé. Los que ya terminaron, por favor levanten la mano para ir viendo quiénes han terminado. All right, time's up, time's up. We're gonna go ahead and look at the next one. All right, si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Ahorita nos vamos a ir a la next activity, que es el knowledge check, el último knowledge check que aparece en, la, en esta sección. que es all right la que estábamos haciendo era esta adjectives ya terminamos adjectives ahorita vamos a knowledge check all right todos estamos en el knowledge check vamos a bajar acá y vamos a escuchar el audio e identificar el adjetivo que está describiendo a la persona. Les voy a dar cinco minutos y de ahí lo vamos a chequear en grupo. Starting right now. You have five minutes.
el que vaya terminando puede levantar la mano para identificar que ya terminó esta actividad. Ok, estoy viendo que la mayoría ya terminamos, así que lo vamos a chequear.
All right. So number one is Karen is short. Marco is thin. Elena is friendly. Andrew is serious. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the next section, which is listening midterm exam number one. Eh, les voy a bajar a todos la mano porque todos la tienen levantada. Y vamos a ver quiénes ya, la, que ya, ya hicieron esta y quiénes no. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que completen la primera sección en el midterm. Si ya lo hizo, continúe con la que sigue. Si no lo ha hecho, les voy a dar cinco minutos ahorita y después chequearemos juntos. Action. Eh, ¿Cuál era, teacher? Perdón que me levanté al baño. Ah, ok. Estamos ahorita trabajando el, en la primera sección listening del examen midterm. Ya vamos por la mitad. Tienen cinco minutos. Ok. Esta es en la sección A del examen midterm. ¿Qué lección es, teacher? Disculpe. Este es el examen del midterm. ¿Y eso dónde lo puedo encontrar? Esa es la siguiente actividad de la que acabamos de hacer. Ahorita acabamos de hacer el knowledge check de la, la 3.14. Usted solo le da next y le va a tirar el midterm exam automáticamente. Ahorita vamos a hacer el midterm exam, la primera sección, número uno. Tienen cinco minutos y de ahí la vamos a hacer juntos. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. What happened? Teacher, eh, eh, quiero escuchar el audio, pero no lo puedo lograr. Eh, ok, yo se, los yo se los comparto. Sí, yo creo que tiene que poner el adobe. Ah, ok. Ya se los comparto. Gracias. Thank you. Listen to four descriptions. Check the correct words. One. What's your friend Karen like? She's a little quiet, but she's... <laughs> Units 1 to 2 Quiz Part A Listen to the conversations Check the correct answers one. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? It's 718-555. 8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. 3. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Four. Oh, no. Where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. 
Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Units 1 to 2 Quiz Part A Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. 2. What's your phone number, Sue? It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. Three. Brandon, it's on your desk. Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Four. Oh, no. Where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. All right, let me have uh, Ceci, number one, please. Ceci, number one, please. Ceci, number one. Hoy si me escucha. Yes, yes. C-A-C-H-R... I know. C A C H R L I. Uh, R excuse me. Repeat please. C H C A C A Uh huh. C H C H A A I R G R Y. No. Y. 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 Okay, thank you. Continue, please, Ada, the next one. All right, Isaiah Gonzalez, the next one. Okay, uh, sorry, He's, Isaiah, no se le escucha el micrófono, se le escucha con bastante interferencia. Okay, uh, como que está, como que está roto, se escucha el micrófono. Okay, no, pero no, no, bueno. Yeah. All right, the next person, uh, go ahead, William Rosales, number two. Teacher. Number two, Sue's phone number. Seria seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. Very good. Three. Thank you, Mario. The next one, please. Number three. Camera is in his bag. Is in his bag. Thank you, Edu. Number four. Four. Uh, it's under the under his desk. Under his desk. All right. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work. 
All right, now we will go to the next one. Complete the conversation. Number one says, Matt, Tony, this is my friend. Her name is Jennifer Miller. Jennifer is in our English class. Nice to meet you. Number three, Tony, what's your last name again? It's Miller. All right, that's section B. Now we're looking at section C, complete the conversation. Oh, he's in our English class. That's All right, the next one, check the correct response. Check the correct response. Instructions, check the correct response. Instrucciones, seleccione la respuesta correcta. Number one, Tiene goodbye, un... have ah, a nice day. Oh. All right, tienen oh. tres minutos oh. para hacer esta parte. All right, Ceci finished. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here. It's already time to go. So we're going to stop in this section right now. And tomorrow we will continue. I need for everybody to please finish the midterm exam so tomorrow we can start section number four. Section number four. Uh, Mario, what is the answer to the question B? Let me see. Section B. See you later. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye, teacher. Take care. No, the answer is see you later. The response is okay, bye bye. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.